Now to Wall Street. The market set to open this morning shortly after the new jobs report will be released following the worst day for investors in almost two years. Chief Business Correspondent Rebecca Jarvis is at the New York Stock Exchange. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning, Michael. And that sell off continues this morning with stocks opening lower following the April jobs report showing 428,000 jobs were created for the month. Unemployment constant at 3.6% and wages over the last 12 months up 5.5%. But that is only part of the story. The other part is historic inflation. Prices climbing 8.5% over the last year. That means prices are moving up faster. Than and wages are and Wall Street is aware that the Federal Reserve is on a course of action now intended to try to bring those prices under control. That course of action will mean the economy slows down. The question is, will it mean there is a recession? And some believe that that could be out in the future. It's something that Wall Street has contended with now for the last handful of weeks. It's why the market so far this year is down about 13 and a half percent. That is the S&P. 500, which is the thing that's reflected in most retirement savings accounts, meaning if you had a thousand dollars in the S&P 500 at the start of this year, today it would be worth about $865, which is why, Cecilia, you invest for the long term. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.